G'day, welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's that time of year, isn't it? Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you for coming back and joining us today to check out the floppy proppies. And I did film this earlier and just thought I might add a little intro here to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, uh, take care, be well, love your families, give them hugs, uh, give hugs and love to your loved ones, your friends, no COVID. I know uh, at least most of the planet's still suffering with that. We seem to be doing all right here in Australia and we wish the best for everyone out there and we wish you well. I know there'll be people out there who've lost loved ones this year and had them there for their last Christmas and my heart goes out to you. Make the best of it and for everyone else who's managed to be lucky this year, including the cat, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Let's enjoy the video. Mama. G'day, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoy this video like I'm gonna enjoy this uh, wild yak. So, uh, I got some of the floppy proppies. The uh, five inch floppy props here. We'll uh, cut to the uh, flight video in a moment. Uh, I just wanted to sort of uh, go through the um, how, how they come and how they assemble, uh, how you assemble them, because I was kind of surprised about how they come. So, let me uh, put that down there for a minute. So they come like this: big old bag of bits, and you're gonna have your left-handed blades and your right-handed blades. And then you've got some parts in here. And you've got these little bits here that the uh, blades go onto. So I'll just put together a right-handed prop here. And uh, surprisingly enough, the uh, instructions say that the, uh, they go like this and pop on. So go around and this is up. So, so this is up and that's down. And so blades up towards the, uh, on, on the hub with the uh, axles for them, with the, yeah, whatever. Um, and then you press on with a click and a click and you press them on. That's that. And that's how you put them together. Um, you just gotta sort them out. So I advise you get yourself two little tubs and sort them out. And and these seem pretty cool for travel. Um, although, I mean, there are some points that we'll get into after the flight. Anyway, I'm talking about that. Let's get into the flight now.
So here we are for the second test flight. And pretty well right off the bat, just here, you can see that wobble. So I know the tune's not perfect for these blades, but it, it's it's accentuated in this flight compared to the um, last flight, I feel, from the little hit it had when I was flying earlier. And, and to explain that there where I was... Uh, yeah, it crashed earlier. I, I just didn't feel there was power. I did not feel like I had the power that I usually do with this quad. It's only a 4S quad, but uh, you know the blade size really gives it that oomph. Um, and sure, it's powerful as it is right now, but it's not like it usually is. So that's why it's uh, why I ended up doing that double flip and hitting the ground. So, um, so it, in this flight here, uh, you can see there's. Um, that wobble coming through and I'm gonna do an endurance test uh, I'm gonna put most of this wobble here down to the tune at least some of it but I'm gonna do an endurance test with the quad um, by rubbing it up against a tree well as you'll see just here through this bush bring a piece of tree with me and uh, obviously it just totally totally hammered that and that wasn't a problem so I'm going to uh, try something a little bit more Vigorous. Go. Ow. So, spin the props out, and it looks like they didn't come out all the way. And I uh, come over, and they feel a bit tougher in there. But that could be how tight I've got the uh, the bolts down. I don't know. Um, you know I'm spinning them out there properly, and take off and fly again. And uh, here, <laughs> you can see the quads in pretty good shape. The props look like they're reasonably flat. Uh, you know, there they are. Um, but there is a lot of shape now. And as you watch the video here, you can really notice it. I'm just going to come in and check it out quickly. As I'm a little bit sort of. Uh, what's going on no. go again I think the prop was a little bit bent not too much like you know you're talking a few few mil out of the uh, out of true and you can see just that you can see that that wobbling from the uh, it's it's not happy it's not happy as it usually is so I put it back down and uh, coincidentally end up doing a long grass takeoff test test and yeah you see it failed that right there the uh, it can't with the with the flexibility of the props there, it, it just can't push the push them down. Uh, and there's that wall quite a, quite quite obvious right there. I'm just going to come down this way and uh, check out if I've uh, you know, damaged the uh, BTX or aerial or anything. Just uh, Good little spot for reception testing there. And here's a deep reception testing spot. So the rapid fire has desunk and is on its legacy mode there. Well, not legacy mode as in the way you'd use your upright fire, but you know, like what we'd refer to as old school analog diversity. Oh, God. I was so happy when rapid fire came along. I mean, it's such a difference. And I've just ordered the uh, Fat Shark digital system, so can't wait to test that out when it comes in. Uh, the overall flight characteristics of the quad, not so badly affected, but yeah, I mean, uh, with that shake, it doesn't look like I'm going to be making the footage out of it and uh, all right so let's just look at a comparison video here is the um, six inch bi-blade Evians from Emacs and uh, yeah I actually think these are lovely props and I'll just let you watch the video of it so you can uh, see what I mean actually uh, it's these these are quite interesting if you watch the prop profile here uh, as the um, as the thrust of the craft is altered and, and it, um, as, as the wind forces on the prop uh, change, 
uh, you can see it flex and uh, and the shape of the uh, prop change under thrust. It's, it's quite interesting, that. and I think there's quite a quite a dynamic design in these props. And well done to Emacs for that. So as uh, we watch this, and I will leave you to watch this to some tunes in a moment. Yeah, I mean, just really, I, I want you to see the difference between how smooth it is. Immediately, these props seem so much more well balanced, and that may be one of the key issues with you know, uh, easily manufacturing and effectively or fiscally effectively manufacturing the floppy proppies there. Uh, it might not be as easy to keep them uh, keep them balanced. And yeah, there's a little wobble at high speed there, but you know, I'm reasonably lazy at tuning, so probably not. Um, anyway, look, enjoy this and we'll get to my comments and the, and the uh, wrap up of the video soon. So as you can see, uh, they do seem to perform pretty well. They um, seem to take a bit of a bash, not too badly. I hate doing that durability testing. Ugh, it makes me cringe. Ugh. <laughs> but they've, uh, you know, they they came came off pretty well. They aren't good for clearing, uh, pushing over thicker grass. Like uh, they don't do that very well. And when you've got them clamped down, like depending on how hard you clamp these down, these get pushed down and they tighten up, so they become stiffer. Um, so uh, it can seem like they'll sit like this, and you'll be like, "Is it gonna, is it gonna be alright?" But once you get enough speed, they they even themselves out, and uh, and they work quite well. Uh, with the right tune, I'm sure they're very good at flying, uh, but I uh, probably won't be tuning it as I'm going to go back to the bi blades I was running on this. Um, although I do really like how the, the profile of the quad, like if you look look at this image here, you can see it's nice and tight. There's um, a roll up. So it cuts the profile of the quad down to about, you know, 24 by 22 and oh well, 21 by 23. And, and that's that's much more of a packable thing, so that's pretty cool. And you can just get this out and run it, you don't have to put your props on it, there's, there's a lot in that. Yeah, that's all i really got to say about them, just a short video because it's just a, a short topic. I uh, didn't have any destroy themselves when I did the tree test, that was pretty cool. Uh, I'll, I'll keep flying these for a little bit probably, um, and uh, we'll, maybe I'll fly the other ones, I don't know, I'm just going to have to test them all and find out, uh, see how I feel about it. I might set up another profile. I was thinking about updating this, but you know, that's uh, all other stuff um, that we can uh, go into in another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you uh, like the uh, videos and comment below if you want to see anything in particular. I um, wouldn't mind trying out the smaller ones of these. These are the 6030s. Uh, I want to get the 50 ones, uh, but they're out of stock, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and I got these in the Black Friday sale along with a bunch of voltage converters, five cheap motors, and a head track, track tracker, which, uh, you know, wasn't really planning to get, but that could be fun. I could enjoy that. I could, I could see that working for stuff. Anyway, be well, stay safe, peace out, catch you later.
as food. This is cow trying to eat the cat. <laughs> yeah. You can, buddy. It's warm enough to fly. Nope, it's not happy with that. Hang on, get up on Well, that's the uh, cicada we have out this year. <laughs>